sorry, can you hold the tail? Because we're uh, we're right on the aft CG limit. Got it. So actually, once I get out, probably have to unload a couple things. So yeah, I decided to move to Wyoming. I'm gonna live at this awesome air park in the mountains. Got some friends here. Tons of cool planes. So many amazing places to fly. It's been a year. Pandemic's over, fully vaccinated, and heading to sun and fun. Hey, airspeed's alive, everything's in the green, we're looking good. Got another five knots here. Start to get that nose nice and light. What the hell is just falling apart on this airplane? Here, I had to run away and get the gear up. Start bringing the prop back a little bit. Everything continues to look spectacular. Seven out of the departure, good day. Rochester departure, Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa. 1,100, climbing 8,000. Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa, Rochester departure, radar contact. So, what the hell is falling here? Sunglasses, maybe? I feel like that. I don't have any idea. Pretty nice weather in general today. A pretty clear shot, a little bit of precip down there, mostly to the east of our route, so hopefully we just miss most of that. There's a little bit of some scattered light stuff right around here. Those clouds over there look pretty tall, but um, so far so good. So probably get a few small bumps here. So we got 98 gallons of gas today. Uh, right now, I mean, we took off about 101. Topped off over in uh, Tri-City, at the Tri-Cities Airport in Endicott, New York the other night. Wanted to just stop and grab some cheap gas on the way home. It's supposed to be four bucks a gallon. Um, and it turned out the meter on the fuel pump was just way off. So it, I took 100 gallons. It said I took 113. It's about 13% over. I know that specifically because I put 24, supposedly, uh, in a tank that only holds 20, uh, including you know unusable and everything. So uh, yeah, it was just way off. And then the price was 450 instead of four dollars. So this is kind of interesting. Um, the uh, Outside air temperature has been negative 2 degrees Celsius, with the total air temperature positive 1. Uh, so we certainly aren't getting any ice on the leading edge, but there is uh, just enough moisture content here that it's rolling back and freezing a little bit further back on the wing where that air temperature uh, is not positive 1. And uh, so we're getting a little bit of light clear icing here, which is uh, pretty interesting. It's pretty rare to get any kind of icing when the total air temperature is positive. Um, you're certainly not going to get it on the leading edge, but if you have enough moisture content that it can roll back a little bit, um, certainly you can get it there. But now it's sublimating here in the sun, so it's all just going away. Heading okay. down the sun and fun, and uh, not going to worry about that anymore. Hey. Atlanta Center, Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa, 10000. A little bumpy coming over the mountains here. Basically the only yeah, kind of yeah, real mountains throughout the whole Appalachians, but it's right here outside of just north of Atlanta. Between uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Atlanta. But Anza 367 Hotel Papa to set to maintain 3,000. 3,000, Anza 367 Hotel Papa. Two and left to land, 7 Hotel Papa. Traffic, 1 o'clock, same altitude, 0 miles. Traffic, no bearing, altitude not left. available, less than one mile. Two tower room, two left, land. Two left, two So we're checking in two, fuel flow, two and one, oil. Okay, clear right, we got the fuel truck on the left there. And Winter Haven Station 810 Bravo Lima's crossing 2911 on Foxtrot, Winter Haven. I say again for the jet. Yeah, you guys go on IFR as well. Just so we're the twin Cessna. We've got like another five minutes before we can try to get a clearance. Oh shoot, he's in the way. Oh. Uh, we were gonna get our clearance in the air here. Uh, I guess we're stuck behind you. They're probably. Yeah, the Notum. They're not giving clearance out in the air, but uh, when this other plane goes, we can get out of your way if you want to try it. Yeah, we appreciate that. Clear left. Clear left. Okay. Winter Haven Traffic Station 810 Bravo Lima is departing runway 5, Winter Haven. 
I mean, I'd rather hand fly anyway. Okay, Roger, Bravo skills. Lima. Traffic 12 o'clock, two miles eastbound. A uh, Eclipse jet of 2,600. Report that traffic inside. He's above you, sir. Yeah, we're looking for him as well. He wants zero Bravo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. All right, let's throw in a notch of flaps. Flaps or approach. Pull my gear down. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, correction, uh, 810 Bravo Lima, the oh, uh, six jet 12 o'clock a mile and a half. He's turning his base leg at 1,500 feet. 810 Bravo Lima has the traffic. Well, uh, 810 Bravo Lima, follow that traffic number two, runway 27, clear to land. Follow that traffic number two, clear to land, 810 Bravo Lima. And uh, throw in the flaps. Okay, full flaps. Rolling out on base now. Now turn final, probably. Bam. Full flaps. Okay, now we're slowing to, let's call it 100. Yeah. Okay. 810 Bravo Lima, slow respect for speed, sir. The Eclipse has to be off the runway. 810 Bravo Lima. Slow, 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 I guess. Woo! Number 661, Charlie, Charlie, maintain slow uh, speed. Now I have to do Charlie. idle here. Go ahead and all okay. the way to idle. The field made, so I'd take it, take it to idle. There's really uh, not much flare, just slow it down a little bit here. Okay, and I'll land it. How's it going? Can I actually? Thank you. It's it's fantastic to be here. Well, whoa, 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 whoa! Can you? Sorry. Can you hold the tail? Because we're uh, we're right on the FCG limit. So actually, once I get out. Finally getting settled here in the uh, new hangar home. Owen's flying up for the weekend. So we're gonna go run to Jackson, a little 15 minute flight around the mountains. Go pick him up, probably get some dinner there. Fly back and have a good weekend. Okay, so we're gonna head over to Jackson and pick up Owen. This is Matt. He lives down there, got some fun airplanes. But today we're taking the Bonanza and uh, Bonanza is fun too. It is. But so is the Husky, so is the MU2. Alpine traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is back taxiing 31 Alpine. Alpine traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is departing runway 31 Alpine. It's just so pretty out here. Today's been like the best day so far this year. What's this guy up to? Yeah, I don't know, I was just looking at that. It's pretty awesome. So there's like this reservoir right next to the air park. And then uh, that's the Snake River over here that heads up to Jackson. And so that's the valley we're going to fly to go pick up Owen. Some nice close up views here of these uh, pine trees. Try to count the pine needles and the cones. It's a really pretty drive, but it takes about an hour to get there. Here it takes about, well, another 12 minutes. So the town next to the air park has a population of like 660, so uh, 
It's actually just kind of a matter of flying anywhere, whether it's just because it's more convenient to get to the airport in Jackson, uh, or to go, you know, get some groceries, run to Costco, whatever, just hop on the plane and go. So I understand there's a Cirrus convention in town. Yeah, apparently they've got a whole lot of Cirrus jets. It looks like Owen's about uh, 12 minutes out. Is that, am I counting that right? 15 Cirrus jets? At least. Hey, Bonanza 7, Hotel Papa, runway 19, clear to land. 19, clear to land, 7, Hotel Papa. Eminenza hey, 7, Hotel Papa, turn left at your discretion, taxi parking via Alpha, monitor ground. Left turn, Alpha, monitor ground, so monitor Papa. I think I'll take taxi this. Taxi Tower, United 1180 is approaching 14,000, uh, pushing to north for the ILS Zulu runway 19. Should I ask them if they can say hi? <laughs> oh, that would be funny. I don't think they would do that. United 1180, good afternoon, Jackson. United 1180, could you guys say hi to Owen? To Owen. Owen, O W E N. He's riding back there. Yeah, we'll do that when we get on the ground. So, the other reason we're here is that Delta managed to break Kevin's guitar. Well, I called them because they were checking in on tower right as we were like taxiing, okay. and I was like, "Hey, United 1180, can you uh, say hi to Owen?" And they're like, "Sure, when we get on the ground." Oh, I didn't but hear they, it. Did they not? No. Damn it. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Liner training course over here. Hello well, guys, welcome back to my vlog. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys again. Yeah, we found him. Apparently, it. Uh, United did not say hi, and now we're gonna taxi on by these weird looking airplanes over here for runway one at Jackson. There can only be one V-tail, and it's not a Cirrus. You guys ready to go back there? Tail's off the ground, I think we're good. Jackson Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop is ready to go runway one. Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa, Jackson Tower, runway 1, cliff takeoff, left or right turn out approved at your discretion. Runway 1, cliff takeoff, Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa. There we go. There we go. A nice little view of their uh, eco friendly radome. Actually, what is that even for? They don't have radar here. Huh. I'm kind of just thinking straight out and around this thing. Yeah, would be a bad idea. Maybe we'll hug it. And get a little ridge lift. Isn't this where we went to eat? Right at, right off our nose? Yeah. And now we'll just follow the Snake River. It's like, actually weather out here today and everything's down. Like, looks like, uh, yeah, Pocatello must be out. All kinds of fun weather. No neck trap. And I guess the alternator on this airplane uh, finally seems to work. Here, uh, three years later. Congratulations. Uh, it turns out, basically, over the last few years, Hartzell has realized that their alternators don't work on certain airframes except for with their voltage regulator. So now that we have their voltage regulator and it took them three years to figure that out, uh, it seems to work just great. So hopefully that continues. Basically we just ended up putting the original alternator back on and that solved all of the problems. So all of these new alternators from Hartzell did not work. That one finally gave up the ghost now like two and a half years later this past December. So we put a new Hartzell alternator on it, worked for like 20 hours, and then started you know, doing this thing where it fails, you recycle the switch, it comes back. So that's when we got this new voltage regulator. So that's Alpine there, through the little... Yeah. Two nine zero seven. I think we can go 3-1. Uh, That'll be the fun approach. Alpine traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop. Is 7 to the east going to be uh, straight in runway 3-1, Alpine? This is breathtaking.
this is beautiful. What do you think? Dude, this is the dream, man. This is awesome. <laughs>